Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 News Headlines. This week, Waltham held primary elections for state offices. Incumbent Tom Stanley defeated challenger Heather May in the Democratic primary to keep his seat in the legislature, but only by about 300 votes. According to the unofficial totals posted by the city clerk, Stanley received about 53% of the vote and May received 47%, but only about 23% of registered voters actually voted. In other news, this week the city released plans to redevelop the Jack Katujan playground, which is a park on the south side of Waltham that includes basketball courts and a skate park. The plans call for adding a parking lot, two dog parks, and other amenities, including pickleball courts. It appears the plan would eliminate a wooded part of the park that is sometimes used as an encampment by unhoused people, and the skate park would be replaced with a smaller version. WCAC posted a video of Councillor Harris talking about the plan in which she explained that it's already been funded with federal funds. It just is waiting on state environmental inspectors to approve it, and then it'll be going out for bid. So it's not clear if there will be any opportunities for the public to weigh in on this plan. A WCAC article described the park as tired and declining and said that trash and graffiti cover the concrete skate park. However, an Instagram account for the Waltham Skate Park frequently posts photos and videos of it in use by kids as well as adults who remember it as an important part of their experience growing up in Waltham. We got in touch with the person behind that account, Brian Daly, and he says the park is not covered with trash because the skaters clean it up. He also said as far as he knows, that skater community hasn't been asked to weigh in on plans for the skate park. So he's going to join us for next week's debrief show so we can get some more information on that. In upcoming meetings, this coming Monday, the 12th City Council will be meeting 7.30 p.m. at City Hall. The Historical Commission will also meet that night at 7 p.m. via Zoom, and it looks like they will be discussing the Fernal. On the 13th, the Zoning Board of Appeals will meet at 7 p.m. at 119 School Street. On the 13th, there was also a CPC meeting posted, but that has been canceled. On September 14th, the Parks and Recreation Board will meet at 5.30 p.m. Not sure of the location on that. On September 14th, the School Committee meets at 7 p.m. at WHS. And September 15th, the Traffic Commission meets at 10 a.m. at City Hall. Also on the 15th that evening at 7 p.m., Waltham Cultural Council will meet on Zoom. Also on the 15th at 7 p.m., a Conservation Commission will meet. I'm not sure of the location on that one. In community events coming up September 9th through 11th is the Lyman Estates Fall Orchid Sale. September 17th is Waltham Day on the Common. September 18th is the Recovery Festival. September 24th is both the Phantom Gourmet Food Festival and the Motorhead's Car Show. September 29th is Craft Beer for a Cause. Uh, at the Charles River Museum, and the Waltham Farmer's Market is ongoing on Saturdays. If you'd like details on any of those events, check out the Waltham subreddit. And that's all for our headlines. The next thing we post will be our debrief show, which we are relaunching uh, with Chris Gamble, James Kelly's, Emily Sapiria, an old friend of ours who's now going to be a regular, and myself. And tonight we'll have a uh, special guest, Christine Mackinon. So stay tuned for the debrief show. Thank you very much.